Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So, viewer discretion is advised. Only thing to- Well, we made it! Okay! February 7th, Dusky Bridge. It's like, move to the suspension bridge secure in the river. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that didn't, didn't work! work. <laughs> Game over. Whoa, we managed! We I thought we were gonna say we, we managed. managed. We managed! We managed to make it across Dusky or Dusty Bridge. Nick, you look green. Are you feeling alright? Hey, what's wrong with you? Ever since we met Sister Iris in the training hall, you've been really quiet. Huh? Oh, I'm um, sorry. Hey you! Wait up! Oh <gasps> yes! Maurice! <laughs> You think he's yelling at us? He must be. There's no one else around. Would you mind moving? You're standing right in my way. <laughs> oh! Hey! I know you. You're... Whoa! Uh, sorry. Gotta run! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> hey! Wait a minute! Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Maurice Donham. <laughs> Liar! You're Larry! Your clothes may change, but you're still the butts. Shut up! <laughs> I'm... I'm... Maurice! <laughs> and I'm just here to do a sketch of Dusky Bridge! So, it really is our Larry. Not that I get why he's pretending to be someone else. He's the one character I will always accept to have come back. <laughs> always. I'm so glad Larry's back. <laughs> so, what are you doing with the last name Donum? Well, I... I just... I wanted to start over again with a clean slate! Everyone wants that, apparently. Everyone. <laughs> clean slate? You remember, don't you? Last time? The Mask to Mask case. Oh yeah, he was in that. After that, I started to realize I didn't like this guy known as Larry Butts. Yeah, I mean, he totally let his boss die. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad. That's when I came across it! The Book of Destiny! The Book of Destiny? Do you mean- THE MAGIC BOTTLE BY MISS ELISE DONUM! It's so beautiful, so moving, so, so gentle. My heart felt cleansed! I, I was saved! It sounds like he heard the good word of Jesus Christ our Lord and saved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I should buy a copy of the magic bottle. Wow, Larry would make a great book salesman! I really want to get the book now too! <laughs> well... She's the most wonderful person I've ever met! See, I thought he was just gonna be like, Oh man, that girl! How hot! What a bod! <laughs> and just like... For Elise Dunham? <laughs> well, maybe she's young and she's just wearing that wig. Oh, maybe. I'd follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. You see? You see? Here's a photo I took of her in secret. In secret? It very much looks like she's posing for that one. Wow, that's a beautiful photo! You want a copy, don't you? It's okay, I just happen to have made extra prints. Photo of Elise added to the court record. Okay. Maybe this is just one that no murder happens and the entire beginning's just fate. <laughs> it's just like one giant journey. Still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So, tell the truth, you must have some kind of ulterior motive, right? Wh what are you talking about? I don't... I don't trust anyone anymore, especially not women. Eh. Talk about a bad case of denial. Anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Art isn't only about technical skill, you know. It's also about having a pure heart. And that's why I'm asking, can you draw well enough to make <laughs> a whole book? <laughs> hmm, now that you mention it, I wonder. It looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. It's true, I do. But when I first saw her, I felt it. Something inside me ended and something else began. Oh, Larry. Sounds like you've fallen in love with Miss Elise Stoneham. No! You're wrong! It's not her! It's the other girl! Other girl? Oh, no. I've got a bad feeling about this. Please tell me he's not in love with Iris. Every guy likes her! Why? Because she's got, like, pupils as big as her eyes. Okay, no, I don't care about that. There are, a gentle there voice, people, and she wears sundresses. There are people that's what people want sometimes. There are people that I've met where I'm like, how have you dated three guys that are all hot, that all really like you, but you're a terrible person? 
and manipulative and all these things. And that's why they always break up with her. <laughs> or yeah, vice or versa. Or vice versa. <laughs> Usually vice versa. Hey, I know I may not look like it, but I'm an artist. I refuse to look at anything that doesn't have a radiant or beautiful motif. Picky picky, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it how it's still Larry's music. Oh, hey, yeah. you should paint <laughs> Maya's mom. No. <laughs> Photo of Elise. Oh, come on, dude! Well... Maurice Donum, 25. Iris is also 25! <laughs> how old's Phoenix Wright? We uh, 25. Yep, okay. 25 or 26, I think. Okay. <laughs> you know, you like Maya. Wow, you're even cuter than last time I saw you! Oh, really? Yeah, you look like a totally different person! Don't you think so, Nick? Maybe it's because we're always together, but she looks pretty much the same to me. Same character model, so... Hey, I remember her! That's Maya's big si- Oh wait, is this the same dialogue from Case 2? I'm pretty sure it is. Wow, you really do remember! Yep. Yeah, who could forget? Couple gorgeous sisters, hubba hubba! You hear that, Nick? Gorgeous! Oh yeah, that's right. When I defended Larry, Mia was still alive. Yeah, it's the this same This is dialogue. all the same stuff. Okay. Bikini. She seems really motherly, doesn't she? What do you mean, seems motherly? She is my mother! She's your what?! I'm gonna have to take a pass on answering that one. Wait a second. Why is he getting off so easy this time? Elise is really something. She's like a mother to me. Yeah, you can tell from the kindness reflected in her eyes. When I first looked into her eyes, I just couldn't help it. I started blabbing about all the bad things I had done in my life. She just laughed that gentle laugh of hers and listened! Are you sure she wasn't just laughing at you? <laughs> hey, I know I may not look like- <laughs> Oh man, he doesn't inspire himself. Yeah, no. Nope. Oh yeah! Her! My little Iris! Oh no. She's really pretty. This girl, she's perfect! She's exactly my type! I wonder if she would model for me. I want to draw a portrait of her. Yeah, you're always like- you've always liked those model types, didn't you, Larry? Hey, wait a second, didn't you say you were swearing off women? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Of course I have! I have, basically, but- But? But, Iris is different! <laughs> I, I feel like- I feel like I still have one chance left at the dream. This guy will never, never change. change. <laughs> Everyone! Hey, Pearly! Dinner preparations are complete! Please come quickly to the main hall! Well, I guess nobody died, so that's good. Alright, I can't wait to dig in, Pearly! I'm going to go to the inner temple and call Sister Iris! No! <laughs> Don't go over with her! I always want to have a look at where Ms. Mystic Maya is going to be training. They wouldn't kill off Pearl. No, but I'm saying I don't want Pearl to experience this anguish that she sees someone killed off. Oh, there, yeah. February 7th, 7.46 p.m. has a Kurt Temple main hall. Oh, okay, it's just Iris over there. So if and you were to Pearl. wait... Okay, but by your thing, she's like, I don't want us to have Pearl witness someone getting killed. So that would mean Iris would be killing herself. I... If Pearl wasn't there, I wouldn't object. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I mean, I know she's a terrible person, but I... She's done, like, two terrible crimes. We just finished... Three. Now... Oh, yeah. No, I four. Always... No, five. Five. <laughs> okay, one, fake the kidnapping and stole the diamond. Okay. Two, or that which also led to Terry Falls being incarcerated. Two, killed her sister. Three, killed Terry Falls. Four, poisoned Diego Armando. Five, killed Doug Swallow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Doug Swallow. Yeah, pharmacology boy. Oh, I forgot about him. Stuck up British wannabe guy. Yeah, you literally see him for like two seconds, so. Hence why I forgot. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you sure it's alright to eat that much before your training? Well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. <laughs> no pain, no gain, I guess. I'm still worried about you. Well, 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 it's not dilly-dally, shilly-shally. You must get ready for tonight. Good luck, Maya. All right, here I go. I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. What if Maya gets killed? 
What if that happens? Maybe that's why Phoenix is like, I'm gonna go into hiding and never be a lawyer again. Yeesh. <laughs> Iris, please ring the bell at 10 for the lights out, all right? Yes, Sister Bikini. And then after you ring the bell, I want you to come join us at the training hall. I understand, Sister Bikini. I forgot how many girls are in this case. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, I like it so far. Maya and Bikini really seem excited about this training thing tonight. Well, Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um... I already just made some YouTube videos. I'm gonna watch those. <laughs> if you'd like, you can come to my room. Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I'd love to! I am um, not very good at reading. <laughs> well, then, would you like to practice reading with me? Oh, I'd love to! Pearls is absolutely smitten with Miss Donum. So, Larry, what are you going to do? Huh? Me? Um, well, I'm just gonna hang out in my room. I can't stand the cold at all. I totally hear you there. Um, Miss Elise, so, for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. That's kind of a tough word. Oh, okay. And what about this word? That's another tough one. It says, roast. What kind of book is she reading, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll go visit you when I'm done, Miss Elise. Please don't walk into a room with people dead. Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. And we're gonna wake up to screams. It's almost like you've played a Phoenix Wright game before. <laughs> it's <laughs> almost like I know what how detective things work. February 7th, 9-12 p.m. Has a current Temple Main Hall. Ugh. It's a whole different type of cold up here on the mountains. Also, the beds suck. Ah, why couldn't the nearest bathroom just be a little closer to my room? Uh, I don't know who this is. Mr. Wright? Yeah! Oh, it's her. Okay. Oh, ah, uh, Miss Donum, are you going to use the bathroom too? Um, no, but have you seen Pearl? No, not since after dinner. I- I thought she said she was going to go to your room. I know, but she never showed up. I'm going to go look for her, if you'll excuse me. Great. She probably was like, Mystic Maya, I'm worried about you! I'm gonna go to the training and die! Ah, uh, Miss Elise Donum, a woman as mysterious in origin as her last name. But, the really mysterious one is... Oh. Ah, S Sister Iris. G good evening. The real mysterious one is this girl. Um, are you on your way to the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? I can't let this chance pass me by. I should try to talk with her, and maybe get some answers. Well, she's gone. Oh, she has different colored hair. Well, she probably dyed it. Probably. <laughs> You'd think she'd get, like, a little facial surgery, though. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know she regifts gifts all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, your sister Iris, right? Yes. So... I've never seen that sprite. Yeah, that's a new one. So, um, when did you come to Hazakura Temple? I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, the temple has been my home. Well, you're just contradicting so yourself right and left! you've never left? Well, I don't have any family left to take care of me. Yeah, because you killed them all! <sighs> okay. Sister Bikini, I've come to think of her as my real mother, as it were. Ah, I see. But you... Didn't you go to college? And maybe enroll with the Ivy University Literature Department? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yes! Phoenix! Phoenix, right! Sass master. No, I never had an interest in going to a big university like that. My training is all the education I need. Uh, I see. But once in a while when I get the chance, I make a trip to the nearby town. I can use a computer and a cell phone too. It's not exactly something worth bragging about, but I don't see any Cyclops, so I guess that means she's not lying. Please, don't stare at me like that. Doggone it, Iris, why does your blushing sprite have to be so cute? <laughs> Iris, meh, meh. What kind of a place is this anyway? I heard it's for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. It must seem awfully crazy to normal people like you. 
Well, I have to admit, it is a whole different world up here. I will say, she looks a lot more like her sister now that she has the same colored hair as her. As Valerie, As yeah. Valerie. So it might be that she, like... She was dying it red? As a teenager, the rebellious, oh, I'm gonna dye my hair! And then every, well, not every teen. A lot of teens that I know do that. Mm -hmm. So, and then maybe she's like, eh, screw it. I'm going back to my normal color <laughs> hair. I'm glad to hear you say that. Huh? Talking with dead people. Who does it help anyway? I hate it. Really? So then why stay, stay in a place like this? Why'd you do it? Uh, Is something wrong? I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bell for lights out. Guess it's almost ten o'clock now, huh? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? How do you know my her name? D did we introduce ourselves to her? Ever? I don't think we introduced ourselves to her ever. <laughs> we were still stunned in silence, I suppose. Yeah. How do you know our name, Iris? <laughs> if it's all right with you, I would like you to have this. But this is your hood. It has the power to protect you from evil spirits. Or maybe it's like a voodoo charm that makes the spirits come. <laughs> come to think of it, Sister Bikini was wearing one of these too. I pray for your safety on this dark, cold night. Why do you care about our safety? <laughs> Iris's hood received from Iris. Better than Iris's hood received from Larry Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> I stole her hood! I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. Wait a minute, Sister Iris? Yes? Just now, you called me by my name. You said Mr. Wright. How did you know my name? I never introduced myself <laughs> to you. I figured that out before... That's... Sister Iris, please tell me the truth. You and I, have we ever met before? Yeah. She's like five. Yep, mm-hmm. Uh, Iris? Oh, it's almost ten. Perhaps we can speak again tomorrow. Not if one of us is dead. Everybody shut your eyes! Go to bed, people! <laughs> I think that's the gong to start the training. Oh. oh no, that's the gong for lights out. Oh. No, yeah, that's not the gong for training. So my hunch was correct. She does know me. I'll have to try to talk with her again tomorrow. Mm, oh, this is nerve-wracking. Good night. Uh, I don't know who screamed. Ah! What the? That blood-curdling scream came from the courtyard. Also, how do we have this statue? Wasn't it put in the museum? Did they, they steal came, it? It came back. <laughs> it February came 7th, 11 or 6 like, p.m. has a curse the courtyard. It's covered in paint. That on scream. The I'm sure it came from around here. Ah! S someone's there on the ground. Please tell me it's... M Miss Donum! I was right! Ugh. Squish. I just stepped on something soft. Hey, don't step on my tummy like that! What, what are you doing lying there in the snow? I was passed out! What do you think? So that blood-curdling scream was you? Forget about that! Hurry and call the police! Is there even a phone in the main hall? No, but we still get reception up here in the mountains. You must have a cell phone on you, right? Uh, um, I didn't bring it with me. Oh, you're useless! Yeah, you really are. I mean, even Iris has a cell phone. We've got no choice. You have to use the public phone by Dusky Bridge. Hurry, hurry. Okay. He brought it, though, to his room. He just has to run back to his room. He didn't bring his cell phone to his room. He went to the office like an idiot. Why, oh! go up in the, uh, why go to the mountains and you have a cell phone and you don't bring it? That's dumb. Oh, maybe he's like, I can't charge it. But you still should bring it for at least a bit. Yeah. Marty's making the biggest stink face in the history no. of the world. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Run as fast as you can. Y yes, ma'am. You don't hurry, Iris will. Iris will. What? She's not dead. February seventh, eleven eighteen p.m. Dusky Bridge. She's not the one that's dead. <sighs> it's farther than I thought. It's the bridge is minutes. just up ahead. I have to go tell Maya what happened too. Ah! The bridge is on fire. Dusky Bridge. It's burning down. What the heck happened? Probably Iris set fire. What are you doing here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Is it, is it me? Don't scare me like that, Larry! I almost had a heart attack! 
My name is Larry! It's Maurice! Larry, hurry up and call the police! I'm going to the inner temple! D don't be stupid! The bridge is nothing but a burning wreck right now! Listen to me! There's been a murder here at Hazakura Temple! W what? The murderer might have fled across the bridge! I have to make sure Maya is safe. But We're gonna get stuck! But Please, call the police! I've gotta go! Get out of my way, Larry! It's too dangerous! Nick, wait! And, and then we just die flying I the river. I must have been crazy. I knew how dangerous it was, but I still went for it. Yeah. Ah! Nick! Well, maybe Iris will save us. Weakened even more by the fire, the rickety old bridge's plank snapped and gave way. And as I was swallowed by the eternal darkness that surrounded me, a final terrified scream rose up to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night. Okay, well... <laughs> yeah, uh, told you. Everybody's okay. dead, so there's that. So normally I would stop here, but no. But no, no, we we're going. Gonna keep <laughs> we're going. keep going. <laughs> we keep going. Because here at Phoenix Wright, we do everything right. No one can hear. Date unknown, time unknown, location unknown. Where'd you go? Ring, ring. Who could that be at this time of night? Yes, Edgeworth speaking. Oh, it's Edgeworth! Edgy, get up! It's an emergency! Huh? Larry? Do you know what time it is? It's not Larry! It's Maurice! <laughs> Maurice Donum! This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and- Wait! Don't hang up! It's an emergency! It's Nick! He- he- he took a really nasty spill! Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... <laughs> I'm not joking! His life is in danger! Wh what What happened? Tell me! Talk about a guy with bad luck! He may already be dead! Anyway, you've gotta come back! You're the only one that can help! My Iris! My beautiful Iris! She needs help! Alright, I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. You don't even know oh, where it oh, is! I'm at the detention center! Please, hurry! Maybe Iris saved us. It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Oh, I forgot this is the timeline of we haven't seen Edgeworth in like a million years. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion, as if I expected anything to change. Sure. Hey, uh, Edgeworth. We play as Edgeworth now. Do we? we yeah, see? The sprite's down at the bottom. It's oh, Edgeworth now. I didn't notice that. <laughs> February 8th. Just Phoenix Wright's dead. <laughs> then February 8th, 2 p.m. That would be really PM, sad if that's what happens. Room. I mean, he's not in the future games. It's Apollo Justice after this. But maybe... <laughs> uh... Well, let's, let's learn. You're late, Edgy! What took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one. Anyway, just listen! If something happened to Miss Elise, and Nick is Maya, and Iris is Bikini, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Say something, Edgy! Before I came here, I stopped in at the hospital where Wright is. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. Well, at least he's alive. The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise Donum. Yeah. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. What a surprise! What a surprise! Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says he'll need at least two days of bed rest. That's it? Y yes! Th that's right! You got it! I thought for sure he'd be but, in a coma! But they arrested her! My sweet little Iris! And here I was convinced he was the one the police had arrested. <laughs> However, I still don't understand what these two items are here for. What are you talking about? The things Wright gave to me as he I, I was leaving his room. This is the first. He said some nonsense about being able to see people's hearts with this. Kingdom and the hearts. other, he couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is, could he? <laughs> I'm begging you, Iris's trial starts tomorrow! With Nick out of the picture, you're all I've got left! You're the only one that can represent her! Now, this would be hilarious if Edgeworth is the defense attorney and Godot is the, the prosecution. prosecution. It's like, hey, old chap. <laughs> Jolly ho! <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. What did you just say? You know, represent! Defend! What were you expecting? Why do you think I called for you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like I was a kid! I graduated from <laughs> junior high, you know! Don't worry about it! I promise I won't tell! But I... I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem fooling an entire court before. 
How could this country's judicial system have fallen into <laughs> such decay? <laughs> Please, Edgy! At least listen to her! Listen to Iris' side of the story! So Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. I mean, this is definitely interesting. It's true. Hi. Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. I love how you haven't told us our last name, Iris. I don't think she has one. It's Sister Iris. Sister Iris. Oh, like Sister, uh, Sister Margarita. Yeah. And people Margarita? Know. Yeah, that's her name. Oh, okay. Sister Margarita and Sister Sophia. No. Yeah. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I can be of any help, but I'll at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Um... Mr. Wright, yeah, how is he? Mr. Larice said that he that he might even die. Her sprite when she cries is different. Yeah. Fortunately, he'll be fine. Larry, you moron! How could you say something like that? <laughs> <laughs> he was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he's unharmed. Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of a nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. Oh. I must be imagining things. This woman, I feel like I've met her before. Well, where's Maya in all this? Is she still stuck across the, bri the river like, okay, you're gonna keep doing your freezing ritual. <laughs> There's like gigantic bo buckets of water dumping on her. Mm. Attorney's badge, re received from right. He wasn't serious when he gave me this, was he? So he received from right something about reading people's hearts. What utter nonsense. <laughs> So we've got all the same stuff that Phoenix had. Okay. Wait, what? Phoenix 26? Okay. Go Wait, go back. 30. I want to see all the descriptions. Oh, yeah. My friend since grade school fell from Dusky Bridge and is currently hospitalized. Homicide detective at the local, local precinct in charge of his, the initial investigation. My friend since grade school, I don't remember how we came, became friends, I was friends, about to though. say, <laughs> how? <laughs> the victim of the incident, a picture book offer of unknown age, Larry's teacher... The defendant, a nun from Hazakura Temple. I know I've seen her somewhere before. Okay. I mean, it makes sense why Edgeworth wouldn't recognize her because it's like she was in one case several years ago, and he's he's prosecuted. It's a pretty a memorable case, though. Yeah, but he's also prosecuted a lot of cases, and he didn't date her like Phoenix. No, did, so he but wouldn't. that was the one. Like, remember where he's like, "I've never lost a case." Blah 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 blah. That's the one case where he's like, "I didn't lose." But I also everyone didn't really. lost. <laughs> so yeah. I feel like he'd remember that. I like the music. The camera's glaring at me. If something glares at you, it's only polite to return the favor, is what I was taught. <laughs> That's a great saying. Um, is something bothering you? Hmm? Oh, uh, excuse me. Talk to the dude. The guard is glaring at me. If someone glares at you, it's only polite to return the, the favor, favor, is what I was taught. Um, are you alright, Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. Oh, I wanted the guard to be- Oh, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Mr. Hedgeworth. Mr. Hedgeworth. Mr. Hedgeworth. A real pleasure. Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met somewhere before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. What? I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at that temple then? I... I've committed some sins. Sins that I need to pay for. Um, okay. That's why I'm there and why I continue to train, to purify my soul. Why is this feeling like Hunchback now? <laughs> like, completely. Like the fire! fire! Hellfire! Fire! <laughs> uh. I want to ask you about last night, the night of the crime. Wow, he got here really fast! <laughs> he said he chartered a private jet. Alright. I helped to clean up after dinner, and then I went back to my room at about 8. Later, I left my room to ring the lights out bell at 10. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then? And then... I was told to go to the training hall, but... 
I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the train hall like you were asked to? I, I was frightened. Frightened? So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. There's more to her story. I just know there is. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. That means, if that's true, that means Maya was all alone across the bridge. Yep. And then I'm Check thinking, it out. So what? Yeah, that's cool. And then I'm thinking like, Avatar State! Yip, yip! And then that's why the bridge burned down. I don't know. What? Like her spiritual powers. Maybe maybe she had such a spiritual power growth that, that it overtook like her and the surrounding area. Uh -huh. It's not it's not uncommon for these types of things. <laughs> no, for like for like a fake universe thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, not in real life. <laughs> it's very common for people to be so overwhelmed by spiritual power that it engulfs them in every feet around. No. <laughs> uh. You were asked to go to the train hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? And she's also got like another five. Oh, just two. Okay. What What in the world?! <laughs> um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry. It's nothing. Looks like she's not aware of them herself. These must be what Reich was talking about. The Psycho Locks. The Psycho Locks! <laughs> That's why I think it's actually pronounced Psyche, because he must have mistook it for Psycho, but... I like Psycho Locks. I believe he said I need to present this Magatama item to do something. We probably can't do anything until... Oh, we can ask him about that. So do you have any idea as to what really occurred last night? I think... It was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Yes, spiritual training has a cause, has been a cause behind many tra great tragedies. Yeah. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. Yeah, Edgeworth is a man of science. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And, and, I, and I'm certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please, answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Stoneham? No. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those psycho lock fiends aren't appearing. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. But that also happened for what's his face? No, I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> he has flicks like, back hair. Flicks back his hair. Heh. <laughs> what's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that's about all that you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited Wright at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. Me? Yes. At the trial tomorrow, he asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I will gladly entrust my faith in your capable hands. Fate. <laughs> but before I said the. Fate. You said faith, I think. No. It's fine. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know, right? Uh, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little strange. Mr. Edgeworth, are you his friend? Friend? Well, in a sense, yes. It was five years ago. That's when I... that's when I deceived him. You deceived him? I heard that he was in a lot of pain after what happened. Yeah! I wonder why! Maybe because you killed his friend and tried to kill him. And, and had a demon face for a few seconds. Had a demon face for a few seconds. And he swallowed a necklace that was full of poison. Not well, full, it, it had it's traces. empty of poison. <laughs> Should've. I know what a weak person I am. You're not weak. That's why that's why I thought it was best if like he never saw me again. Yeah. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. I mean that's what I would have done. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. <sighs> Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. You better do that now. Go to the hospital now. 
That's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. We get the really cool investigation music. Oh. We got this, I think, one or two points in case two, and that's it. Probably. I don't remember this music at all. All right. That's going to do it for this first very long episode <sighs> yep. of Bridge to the Turnabout. Now I think you can see why the case is pretty yeah. epic. Yeah, it's cool. So, look forward to next time. We will be playing Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney. <laughs> Trials and Tribulations. It's going to be great. We get to explore the crime scene as Edgeworth. Here we get that to explore the crime scene. Get to explore the crime scene. That's what yeah. you said. <laughs> Anyhow, look, look forward to that, everybody. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.